Good people of the Imperial City. And Heathcliff number three. Welcome to the arena. And I'll be honest, I don't remember the rest of the speech. Today, we open with another opening. The grand opening of the Colosseum of Reem. Two will enter, but maybe only one will leave. Ideally, everybody will leave because we need everybody we can get at this point. But in a shocking display of cruelty in the comment section yesterday, somebody asked, can we have two of the slaves who are married fight one another? And the answer is yes, my friend. Yes, we can. Slaves six and seven, though not actually married, are engaged to be married. And honestly, I think that's good enough. So they get the honor of being the first people within Reem to potentially fight to the death. In the Colosseum, that is. We just had them kind of kick the shit out of each other in the plaza before. Begin the great trials of Son Invictus, Slave 6, and Slave 7. Begin. Begin the tournament. And you're probably thinking, well, they don't have any weapons. Oh, yes, my friends. Yes, they do. At the edge of the Colosseum, I have placed racks filled with shields and clubs. Nildraith prays death by the blade? Heathcliff, I really would feel a lot better about things if you were to get out of the way there, pal. Go! Nildreth heap glory on strength over others. Slave six and slave seven. Lovers and to be married who found companionship in the darkest times of their lives at the height of their enslavement. Forced to fight for our amusement. Oh, this is glorious. Though I can't help but notice they don't seem to have actually picked up any weapons. Uh, it's almost harvesting season. Heathcliff, unexpected entrance into the arena. He's trying to break it up. He has a kind heart. Are <laughs> you not entertained? Oh, that couldn't be any more perfect. <gasps> Slave seven has beaten Slave six. Unreal. I thought that he would be kind, being the larger one of the two. Might have said, hey, I'll take the fall. No. He knew that Remus would not be kind to such a disgraceful display in the Colosseum. Ah, good trials of Sol Invictus. I like it. That was a good fight. And overall, I think we can say the Colosseum has been a resounding success. And totally not a waste of 45 minutes spent building the friggin' thing. <laughs> and welcome once again, everybody, to the glorious city of Reem, where today we can actually appreciate it in its full glory because it's not under seven feet of snow. Finally, we can appreciate my glorious walls and my glorious pillars and my glorious Ratfield Hospital. <laughs> Did we really need mounted cavalry to take out the hospital rats? And at long last, yesterday, we finally rode out and attacked a Carthaginian caravan. That was it. It wasn't anything particularly special. We're not quite burning down their cities, insulting the land, but it was about sending a message. It was about showing them the true power of Reem, which is apparently people on yaks firing crossbows. And once our bootleg Genghis Khan Remus has finished cooking tasty rat meals, we're probably going to head out and do it again. The goal for today is very simple. Let's try and form an alliance with either Sparta or Athens. Ideally both, but I think that might be a little bit optimistic. And though I hate to do it because they're really not the best people to be recruiting, I think it's about time we, we recruited some of the slaves. Any of them that are particularly young anyway, like 57-year-old Slave 3 is probably worth just staying Slave 3, to be honest with you. Although saying that, they're all pretty fucking old. 52, 44, 57, 53, 16. Okay. Uh, now, I was going to... What happened to the wall? Now, part of the point of recruiting them was to get some breeding stock into Reem. Because right now, all of our people are, like, in their 90s. Which is pretty ridiculous. The problem with Slave 8 is it's fairly unlikely we're going to get any children out of her. So, we might as well just leave her in as a slave. What about Slave 9? 22. Staggeringly ugly. Oh, God. The only ones that are worth recruiting we're never going to get any kids out of. Why are you all so old and shit? What about you? Theramenes, male human age 29. Uh, I'll take it. We're still converting you. Oh, you are converted. Okay, get recruited. And then before I forget, we also need to give Remus the role of Grand Priest again, because him and Nildraith have once again swapped over. The very unnecessary election in the Senate. I mean, they're going to vote for him regardless. And I guess I'll also recruit Slave 9, because it's the only one we could potentially get kids out of. You morons, this is for the future of Reem. Hostile 4 spotted. 3,045? Well, even though that's absolutely overwhelming, let's look at the positive side here. 
We need more breeding stock for Reem. And with a combat power of 3,045, which I think is more than the entire city, that will almost certainly give us one or two people. We've got to prioritize capturing any young people we see at all in that. So Slave 9, I'm going to say... Let's just get you recruited. We don't even need to convert you, do we? Oh, and today's room is his journey for the Blade of the Sky. Oh, I should have kept one for the Hammer of Radiance as well. That one took way longer to get than the Blade of the Sky. Let me go look up when that was again. So apparently it was the 12th of December. That was the day we actually removed it from the Reliquary. There we are. While we're here throwing a few names into the system, I'm also going to rename the other four relatively new people. They've all survived a siege at this point. Well, they've all survived a siege, obviously. I mean, everybody, but poor little Numa Pompilius. <laughs> of course, I bring back the generation mechanic and the only child we actually have. Boarding room gets kidnapped. So, Flush, I'm going to rename to Bobka. Legua is now Bizarro Jesus of House Jesus. The Mysticles is now Grover House which is very appropriate because he's got terrible construction. And not only that, he is a pyromaniac. So chances are he is going to make the houses way worse. Also, if he has any descendants, they're going to be house house, which is very high tier. <laughs> and then finally, Kynigoros, the character with a double passion and intellectual, of course, gets called Yandere Dev. I wish you the best of luck, house Yandere. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna fucking need it. That's gonna be a long time in the making. Good, strong Riemann names for a good, strong Riemann people. And Yandere Dev just caught some... Just caught some beer. Oh, and a party to celebrate Remus's journey for the Blade of the Sky. I really should probably set the party point either in the villa or in the Senate building rather than, you know, the random workroom. I guess we'll put it here for the future. Because that way they've got areas where they can eat or actually have recreation. Ah, or I, or I guess not. I won't lie, I did forget about the warband. Uh, party's cancelled. Sorry, everybody. You got to draft up instead. I'm fairly certain the wall is completely sealed up at this point. So we should be... We should be able to bait them through this area now. Our new and improved firing range. The party has been called off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really has. <laughs> now, this is a siege. Uh, But they don't seem to have bought any siege weapons. Oh. <laughs> ah, there we go. Oh, these are old defenses. Right, that explains a lot. Send in the cavalry. Let's see if we can try and wake them up. How many of them were there again? 29. They're not as well armed as us, but way more numerous. We have to be very, very careful. Our people are also just awful shots, so I haven't got, I haven't got high hopes for this. I won't lie. Yes. Look at them go. You fools. You thought you could get one over on Reem. Uh, they still might. They're very close to finishing that mortar, actually. Okay, let's move over here. Move over here. Aim at the mortar. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Nice. Good hit. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're not going to get it killed in time, are we? Uh, okay, that's a slight problem. Where is that going? Not my plaza. Oh! Oh, they whiffed it entirely. Please bring it down. Please bring it down. What are they aiming at? Oh, God. Okay, where is that one going? Oh, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. Oh, God, the hospital? Not the Colosseum. Okay, I will admit, one stool in the Colosseum isn't really a big hit. It's almost down. It's almost down. A couple more hits. We shredded an absolute bunch of them in the process, though. Look at that. Oh, shit. We finally got their attention. I think we finally got their attention, squad. Start, start driving. Sieging Greeks of Carthage are assaulting the colony. Nice, nice, nice. Heathcliff 5 gave birth? Oh! Sigma Draconis? I thought we were missing someone. Turns out Heathcliff 5 was too busy giving birth to fight on the battlefield. That's my bad. That's completely my bad. I got distracted. Yandere Dev could be in a little bit of trouble here. I won't lie. Okay, okay. Keep moving. Kidnap who they can and leave. Not again. This happens every fucking time. Reisling has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion, you moron! How are they this fucking useless? Okay, uh, sign mortar on Incitatus. We're gonna send a round. See if we can- Oh, God. See if we can try and save Yandere Dev. Oh, my God, the boomalo. Oh, it's fleeing. I thought it was going for full-blown revenge. Okay, okay, come on. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Right. Shoot! Moron! Ah, oh, I can't believe we lost another fucking person. Look, if it's 29 versus uh, what, like, I mean, at that point it was like 29 versus 8, but 29 versus 17, and we only lose one person. I can't complain that much. We need to be replenishing our numbers, though. 
Okay, capture these two. Did we get anyone else? Oh, we've got potentially bloody loads here. Give me all the doctors. Sign Mortar, let's get you tending to you. Now, somebody said if we carry them first and then drop them to tend them, it puts them in restraints. And then they can't immediately get back up. Well, that's once again, I've been lied to by the bloody comment section. Thank you, comment section. And that right there is one Carthaginian. Please hurry the fuck up. Come on. Damn old people. Hippocrates is probably also going to be fine here. No pressure, Nildraith. Good enough. Good enough. 15 hours. Get them captured. Lysias of Hippon Diaros. What a fucking name. 12 hours. Good enough. Get them captured. And then we have Alcibiades, who are also going to be absolutely fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> They stood back up and uh, grow over the house. They're not taking any shit. Cut their finger off. Teach them a lesson. Okay, so that's what, like four people? I can deal with four extra people. I'm going to throw you back down fast, though, because I noticed that said severe. Yeah, that would do it. Boom. Very nice. And you decided to throw them on the floor. Oh, you people suck. You people are complete shit. Okay, there's number two. And then number three and number four coming in now. Okay, not too bad. We lost one. And there's still a chance we can save them. But we've gained four more. Male human, age 22, quite young, good at construction. Passion in shooting. Just stick him on a scorpion, they'll be fine. Hippocrates, female age 21, very good. Crafting eight double passion is fantastic. Female age 49, okay, not so useful. Male age 21 there too. Okay, so we've got three new young people to throw into the colony. And eventually slave nine. So the siege is dealt with. The prison is topped up. We need to come up with a way now to win over the other factions. We, we have to either produce something or create something to sell to the other factions or give to the other factions to build up that alliance. How did Romans make allies? You're gonna have to give my internet a while. It's, uh, it's, it's not doing very good. Now, my thinking is we do one of two things. We could either A, make a shitload of olive oil and give that to them, or B, we make a shitload of wine and we give that to them. We don't really have much farmland left, do we? I, I suppose, look, the sensible thing to do would be to build a big old wall around the, uh, the spring where our aqueducts are coming from and maybe just grow a shitload of grapes around there. Oh, we could. This actually isn't a terrible idea. We could just expand this wall up and expand this wall across, have the meat, and turn all of this into vineyard space. How many marble bricks have we got? 54. Okay, then. <laughs> it's that idea down in a hurry. Let's say chisel blocks. We'll leave the slaves in charge of that one. Oh, and then this quarry, this quarry I wanted to remove, get rid of the platforms, and we turn this into another bathhouse because we don't have a public bathhouse. So I'm thinking instead we'll dig that up and we'll put down a... Dare I say it? Put down a swimming pool? I mean, it kind of fits. Actually, it would fit quite well there. We could do it either way around. Everybody's in a pretty shitty mood again, so we'll we'll kick things off with Operation Bathhouse. Then we'll worry about Operation... Wine? Can we, can we even make wine? Like a brewing vat? Fermenting barrel? Oh, that's gotta be it. We do also have a brewery, but... Oh, maybe they both work. Okay, well, let's throw down an outdoor brewery, then. Fermenting barrels, I assume, need a consistent temperature. Ah. Uh, I guess we'll dig into the mountain here and build a brewery attached to the... <laughs> attached to the villa. Hang on, look, we can have a rebirth of the sun. Well, that would cheer everybody up, and then we could just move straight into Operation Wine. Okay, okay, here's an idea, then. Let's throw down a ritual spot, and then rebirth of the sun. We've got enough wood this time. Ah, 16 participants. That's everybody in the colony, right? Absolutely everyone. Nice. Come on, that's it. Hurry it up. Bring all the Heathcliffs you like. Ah, wow. That's surely not going to send out any sort of flair for our enemies to track down and annihilate us with. Thank you. I love the morbid music over the top of it. It just never gets old. Nice. Oh, that's really good. Plus six mood for six days. Hang on, was that not a mosaic here? Why the fuck do they keep going? And remind me, how long have we got these friggin' turkeys for? 12 days. Oh, we've only got another two days left. Oh, fantastic. Oh, and a merchant from Sparta. Sister of Sigma Draconis. Oh, hello. We could just gift them a bunch of shit. Cut out the middlemen, right? I'm, I'm sure we've got enough raw resources that we could just lump them with a load of copper or something like that. Welcome, my friends. Welcome to Reem. What have we got to give them? Uh, gifts. I'm going to give them gifts. Plus seven, plus 17 for 130 T. Oh, this is going to be fucking easy. And the best part is they'll take all of our shit and empty out our stockpile too. <laughs> this is, 
This is just giving them a burden. So I'm going to keep the Centurion helmet. I'm going to keep the Gastrafetes. We could give them some gold. We do have a lot of gold. Uh, what else can we give to you? Copper. Copper counts as something that they're interested in, huh? Uh, well, let's give you like a... Oh, man. I'm going to give them like half of our copper. Over half our copper. 86. What's their opinion of us right now? Well, we can't see from this screen, unfortunately. Um, here, take... 2,000. Take this boom rat. I really don't want the boom rat. We can take a little bit of herbal medicine too, because we... Oh, maybe not that much. Give them like 50 herbal medicine, because we can always grow more of that. And you know what? I will give them a little bit of gold. What else are we going to use gold for right now? Plus 93. Okay, minus 30 to 63. We're going to need a tiny little bit more before we're allied then. So give them like another... Well, maybe not that much. Uh, give them like another 500 or so copper. Plus 5. Give them like another... Oh, man. Wow, it really isn't worth that much, is it? Um, I just want a little bit more herbal medicine. Shit, what were we up to? 60, 65, something like that? You know what? Give them a shitload more medicine, then give them a bunch more copper, and then take the gold for another 19. Okay, that'll do it. We went slightly over, but I thought we would probably want a little buffer there too. All right, well, that's good. Now we go to the Remore tab, and we say Sparta Alliance. So we need... We still need 15,000 silver as well. Ideally, I... I mean, I really want to give them more than that so that we can... So that we can keep that alliance going while we while we get a load more shit in. But that's a good start. That's fantastic. What if we, like, buy something from them as well? We could buy back our shit. Wait, can we can we just straight up sell them some stuff that we couldn't offer as a gift? We could, we could sell them that. Just to start building up our silver. I mean, it's a tin helmet. It's not that defensive. Components we do need. What if I just, like, sell you some stuff as well, then? Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Oh, they get to vote on whether or not they accept the trades? Oh, shit. Oh, that's really interesting. Thank you. And that takes us to a whopping tenth of the way there to the amount of silver that we need. But that was in one trade. And I was expecting that we would have to go and caravan out. So they love copper. They love weapons. They love armor. We could make armor for them? That's fine. We can't make weapons because weapons sell for like a fifth of the price in, in Rimod. But we could make them armor. I'm all right with that. We arm them to help us fight the war against Carthage. Maybe this is a great idea. So in terms of the armor that we've made then, Muffalo Wool Sargum? Legendary, 73%? What the fuck? Sheep Wool Cape? I feel like we just make a bunch of the Lorica Musculata. It doesn't really matter what they're made out of. It's the quality that affects the price more than anything else here. So we could just do that and then go do forever. That way, our people will grab it and wear it if it's better than what they've got. We're guaranteeing them we've got a baseline for our people anyway. And then we just sell the excess. I think we'll need more Mediterranean smithies, though. Let's get rid of this central one. And then I guess we could also just attack... We could attack Carthaginian caravans and then carry the loot right over to Sparta. They, they forward settled quite a lot. They've got a colony here. They've got a colony here. So if we attack a caravan like one of these, 1,000... I mean, we could probably crack out 1,101. If not, there's always 600. Just carry the loot straight over to Sparta and sell it to them. Whoa. Sibylle, thanks you for letting her and her other outlanders venerate the Blade of the Sky. As a result, she's sending you an engraved thrombo horn worth 1,500. That's really nice. Do you think Sparta will want to buy it? <laughs> ah, hello there. Ah, a pack of man-hunting red foxes. <laughs> Hang on, was it not foxes that almost wiped us out the first time? No, wait, it was foxes that wiped us out. There wasn't any almost about it. And how many were there? 28. Oh, this is going to be sweet, sweet vengeance for Reem. What the... What the fuck are they doing? Oh, God, they're suicidal. What? <laughs> what? They just smashed down the fucking walls? Oh, this is horrifying. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, change of plan. Reem has fallen. Genuinely, the first enemies to have got through the walls are a group of fucking foxes. What the hell is wrong with them? They're batshit crazy. <laughs> I actually can't believe what I'm looking at. Why are they so fucking feral? Oh, God, they're breaking through. They're coming out of the goddamn walls. <laughs> oh, not now, Grover. Okay, well, the house is getting absolutely fucking shredded by foxes. Neil Draith. Oh, Neil Draith, you need to run. 
I don't know if the Bart skin dryads are going to be enough to hold them off. I can't. I cannot believe this. We are. We're. We're. We're being humiliated. This is a humiliation. The house is probably going to die to his own fire. You all still have lances, right? Fucking get the lances out then. Search and destroy melee. Melee time. Why are we trying to shoot foxes with crossbows when we got perfectly good spears? I still think we're probably going to get absolutely peppered, but you know, <laughs> it's worth a go, isn't it? We have to try and kill these guys before the house goes up in flames. Come on. Nildrath is bleeding out in two hours. Foxes are now a mortal enemy of Rim. It, it goes in terms of mortal enemy graph. Number one, rats. Number two, Carthage. Number three, foxes. How does it take this many people to put out fire on one person? Put him down and tend him first. How dare you? Sigma Draconis bleeding out in 18. Who's another good doctor? Jan Deros. I don't know why all the titles in the top bar have disappeared. I'm not entirely sure why that's happened, to be completely honest with you. Or just a new update breaking things. You know how it is. Uh, save Sigma Draconis, please. Okay, Sigma Draconis is fine now. Get rescued. How are you looking? How are you looking? Nildreth is fine. Get rescued. And the house is probably going to survive... We didn't actually catch fire. Oh, we did, but only on his leg and his neck. That's all right. <laughs> that won't kill you. All I want to do is grow some grapes and make friends with Sparta. Apparently, that's just a bridge too far. Look at the rats in the hospital. Okay, uh, you kill destroy that body right now. Ah, oh, Nildreth got an infection. I can't for the life of me figure out why in such a clean hospital filled with barbecued rats. <laughs> well, the good news is, in the background of fighting all those foxes, we have finally got the shuttle for the turkeys. So we've still, in some ways, been working on the alliances in the background here. Get rid of these fucking turkeys. They've been eating all of my kibble. Do not cremate the turkeys. That'd be really bad at this point. <laughs> Trying to load the turkeys has brought the game down to a whopping seven frames a second. The very intense turkeys, okay? Is this what you expected when I said we were going to do a Roman playthrough, Roman playthrough? that Reem is going to try and ally with Athens by very slowly loading turkeys into a spaceship. Is that what you expected? That's it. Line up. One turkey at a time. Oh, house. We got so fucking close. Right, rice link. Grab polio. <laughs> What's the turkey called polio? Requires. Lad. Um, Bizarro Jesus, hurry things up. And in between house burning down the workshop, we can send the turkeys off. Piss off, turkeys. There you go. Minus 38 to 12. That saved us all of about, uh, you know, like 4,000 silver. Don't know if that was entirely worth it, to be honest. I'm sorry. Anything that is not in Sitatus or a Yak, you're getting slaughtered. Or a, or a Dryad. And happy birthday, Nildraith, at the bright old age of 95. She now has dementia. Oh, shit. Can she not walk anymore? Ah. Oh, okay, that could be a slight problem. She does have a major infection, which is definitely contributing, and her arms and legs and heart all do seem a little bit damaged. She'll probably be fine when she's over that. And we've also got a medical emergency. Oh my god, it's house? Uh, to be honest, I thought it would be Nildraith. Also has an infection, but is almost fine. 93% immunity. Come on! Please hurry up. Please, I just need some... I just need some more people. How, how are we looking? No resistance here. You're being converted. That's fine. 4.5 resistance. That's going okay. You were like next to nothing, so that's good as well. No resistance here. You're being converted. Everything's going fine. It's just taking a really long time. In fact, you're already converted. Why the fuck are you not being... Yeah. <sighs> would really help if I knew how to play this game. <laughs> really help if I had a million hands. So in the background of everything else going on, I started to smooth over the old quarry so that we could build a swimming pool. Rumors and some friends have slowly been chipping away at the mountain here so that we could build some sort of... Turkeys? No. Fuck off. These guys have been chipping away at the mountain so that eventually we can build ourselves the brewery. This very, very basic wall has been built. And that's really it. It doesn't do anything for us. I might simplify the farms quite a lot too, especially if we're about to grow a bunch of grapes. Uh, so here's the plan. <laughs> what size is this? We're looking at 32 by 36. 32 divided by 4 is 8. And 36 divided by 4 is 9. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we're going to keep it simple and go corn, lentil, corn, lentil. Except, obviously, in the growing zones, corn, lentil, corn, lentil. So, that would keep that very straightforward. Then, over here, I'm thinking, look, we're trying to do this to form alliances, but we are also very on theme this series. We're going to build an actual proper 
vineyard. <laughs> no more turkeys. Shout out to my boy, Bernard Matthews. Thanks for the turkey twizzlers. Did Romans have turkey twizzlers? Ah, the Ramones. Hello, my friend. What are you good at again? Melee and crafting. I mean, that's somebody we could get crafting the armor I was going to sell to Sparta, right? So I'm not going to complain about that one. Let's look by our crafters here. Uh, Thramanes, oh, Thramanes isn't even that good. <sighs> Fine, all right. I mean, it, it is probably better than nothing at this point. Ah, Slave 9. Actually, as a full-blown citizen of the Empire this time. My friend, you may take off your collar. Why did I recruit you? I don't entirely remember in hindsight. I mean, you're not a bad doctor. You're certainly not great, though. Wow, Jesus, why did I recruit you? Breeding stock, I remember. What a what an awful reason to recruit anybody. <laughs> and I mean, their artistic isn't bad. We could just have them doing art. Look at what a mess Sparta have made in my plaza. If I didn't so desperately need you to overthrow Carthage, this would be a declaration of war. Your horses have shitted all in my holy fountains. I mean, I know I recruited you for, you know, like breeding stock, but... Uh, you're a little bit over enthusiastic. Have we got we haven't got any clothes at all. I sold them all to Sparta, didn't I? <laughs> all right, okay, here's the plan then. Until we get gear for you, maybe we'll just say anything and anything. We are not getting anything done here, so I'm taking away this anything schedule. I thought the anything schedule would, would be a nice balance between work and them keeping themselves happy. They're kind of happy, but not happy enough to justify no work. We're going full on Amazon right now. The beatings and lack of toilet breaks will continue until morale improves. Hold on a goddamn minute. Jandiros is pregnant. But who could possibly be the father? It's, um... It's Bobka. <laughs> wow, you were here fast. Jandiros and Bobka spoke about poker. That he did. That he did. Which is weird, because he barely even knows her, let alone pokes. Uh-huh. Congratulations, Bubka. <gasps> Ransom demand. Oh! You see smoke signals coming from Carthage. They say that they are holding your former colonist, Yandere, dead for ransom. Uh, not... They didn't send this for, for Romulus. They didn't send this for Numa Pompilius. They want us to... Fucking ransom Yandere dev? I almost don't want to do it. I'm going to take it because that means that Carthage have like net gain minus five people. And it's only 250. How shit is Yandere dev that they're selling them back for 256 silver? <laughs> well, welcome back Yandere dev. Nice to see you. Well, they didn't even patch you up. Man, you're actually pretty good. I can't believe... I can't believe they you were so cheap. They probably tried enslaving Yandere Dev and then realized they didn't do any work. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, right, thank you. Thank you for that. Recreation deprived. Oh, fuck off. Well, another good news. It's taken quite a long time, but we finally got the vineyard set up. Now, look, I, I, I have set it up in the way actual vineyards are set up, where you can walk up and down and, you know, sample your grapes and do whatever it is. Vine vineyards? I don't know what you call a person who grows grapes. Bored. You do whatever it is bored people do when they walk up and down. In Rimworld, though, you don't really need to do that. We could make this all into one big growing zone. I don't want them to also spend forever tending grapes. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how many grapes we get. We'll see how many grapes we need to form an alliance. So I also don't know how to make wine. That is probably a bigger issue here, I will admit. So I'm just going to throw down a whole bunch of bamboo fermenting barrels. Because we... You know, we have like a good amount of bamboo here. And then I suppose I'll probably also throw down a brewery, seeing as you kind of assume that it would use... I mean, uh, you would need to brew it. But I have no idea. And then the final thing, I guess, is a bunch of shelves to keep the wine in. Does wine count as food? Well, if you're my nan, it does. Wine. Ah, yeah, okay, good. So we'll build some wine barrels specifically, which I think is fairly on brand. Uh, Marble? Marble wine baskets is very decadent. Do we have any marble left? What have we been mining? Oh, we have it. It's just they haven't, been, uh, they haven't moved it over. Okay, that's fine. That still works. A Vinter. Vinter? No, that's the person who just makes the makes the wine. I don't know what you call it. Well, there we go. That's going to be our 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 Vinters. Ah, oh, Hans, it is so cold this Vinter. <laughs> ah, God, I hate YouTube. I mean, this is probably worth thinking about at some point. I probably should have thought about it before we start recruiting everybody. Where are they sleeping right now? The house? That one's unowned? You're telling me you've got enough beds for everybody even now? 
Wowie. 13 people. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beds. I mean, assuming they're all in relationships, so we can hold a maximum of 16. That isn't the case. Two of them are sleeping in the hospital. I thought I'd make this room into just a generic sleeping area because it doesn't have the cleanliness bonus from the aqueducts. And in other good news, Heathcliff has given birth. That means we now have a staggering amount of Heathcliffs. Good lord. Okay, the bamboo fermented barrels are being built. How do we make wine? Product. Wine. Okay, clear all. Allow grape. Mashed grape. We have to mash the grapes? I don't know how to mash grapes. Uh, production. Grape masher. Oil press? I mean, an oil press might do it. No, definitely not an oil press. Uh, mash grapes. Grape. No idea. Butcher's table? Butcher the grapes? Definitely not there. Mashed grapes. I am all out of ideas. Mash. Nothing. Have we not unlocked the ability to mash a grape? Okay. Wait, hang on. What about a quernstone? In fact, I think all quernstones do is mash. Well, let's try one of those first. Good news, we mash grapes at a brewery. It's weird that a workstation designed to produce brewed goods might actually help us produce wine, I know. Hold your applause. Make fruit drink? I mean, wine is technically a fruit drink. I probably wouldn't give it to my children. I don't have children. Not since I gave them wine anyway. Okay, so the fermenting barrels are set up to ferment wine. The mashers are set up to mash grapes into wine. Well, you don't mash grapes into wine, but you know what I'm saying. The grapes are set to grow, to be mashed, to then be brewed into wine, which will eventually earn us an alliance with Sparta. It's very convoluted, but it's very reman. So now all we have to do is wait. Do you think they're done yet? Damn it. It's only 72%. What you got there was a glimpse of um, actually 95% of my human existence. That silence while watching characters walk around a map. <sighs> I mean, millions of years of evolution for this. <sighs> okay, here's the plan. Today, we end things. Well, that sounds very... <laughs> And then we end this episode, and then tomorrow we'll jump back, and the grapes will be magically grown. And by magically, I mean through the passage of time, which is how a lot of things tend to grow, but it'll be fairly quick if you're watching these back to back. And things do take a long time to grow. I took a long time to grow. Well, I didn't take a long time. I'm just saying to reach my maximum height took quite a few years. It wasn't like I was, you know, two foot for the first 18 years of my life, and then boom, suddenly I was 6'2". It's not quite how that works. Thank you to the patrons for allowing these grapes to blossom. I'm not sure grapes blossom. Thank you to Barnekin's Milk, Comrade Zandy Candy, Bobka, Fairy Wiz, Shotgun Diplomacy, Jared, King Snitch Gaming, Balman, Sir Royland, Blank, Gogolus, Ah, 9471, Gibbering Mound, Blobbert, and Londa for their support. The executive producer tiers over at Patreon. There might be new executives over on Patreon. I don't know. I haven't got any fucking internet still. So... Your guess is as good as mine. Thank you as well to Nightbee, Rave Pirate, Snowlauger, Mantle, Fred, Ever Vigilant One, Matthew Santi, Marcel, Lucius Martius, Warsheep, who is William, and my sweaty rim rim. My sweaty rim rim. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs>